Hello, in this video, I'm going to show an agent-based model for addressing reopening policies after lockdown due to epidemics. In 2008, an agent-based modeling based on influenza pandemic reduced the number of total lockdown days by 6 to 32 percent for community isolation. Whenever cases were reduced to 1 to 3, the model reopened the community and when it was over 10, then the model again started lockdown. During current COVID-19 situation, reopening is suggested for economy, at least phase by phase reopening. It requires slowing down the spread in phase 1 through social isolation and state by state reopening in phase 2, where it will still require physical distancing and limitations on gathering. In this model, we have used 500 agents and 90 days of simulation. Each person has 15 interaction per day when there's no lockdown in effect. And lockdown starts after three days of spread. That means from day four. We have four kinds of network in our model, household network, neighborhood network, workplaces network, and school network. In the next slide, I will show simulation of these networks. Here is the network simulation. You can see how these networks look like individually and when they are combined together. Now we will see what happens if any of these networks is shut down during an epidemic. The top right figure shows the epidemic scenario when all the networks are open and everyone can interact with 15 people every day. This is our baseline scenario. As you can see, the infection curve only flattens out when all the susceptible agents in the community are either infected or recovered. The bottom right figure shows the epidemic's condition when schools are closed from day 4 to day 20. It does not differ much from the baseline scenario except reducing the highest number of infected in one day from 350 to 300. Here, the bottom right figure shows the scenario where schools and neighborhood networks are closed from day 4 to day 20. That means the agents cannot interact with their neighbors during this time, but they can still interact within their workplaces and their households. It is not much different from the baseline scenario. It only slows down the spread a little. Now, this is a total lockdown situation where schools, workplaces, and neighborhood networks are closed from day 4 to day 20 and the agents can only interact with their family members during this time. As you can see, the infection rate is very low during the lockdown period, but as soon as the lockdown is over and all the networks are reopened, there is a strong second wave of infection and the curve only flattens out when every agent in the community is infected. So this scenario is close to a real world situation where schools and workplaces are closed due to an epidemic from day four to day 20. And uh, the agents can still interact with their family members and neighbors. As we can see here, the infection rate starts slowing down, but as soon as the lockdown is over, there is a second wave and the infection curve only flattens out when all the susceptible agents are infected. In the current situation, schools will be closed for rest of the academic year in Michigan, but workplaces will start reopening within a few days. In our model, we try to evaluate when it is safe to start reopening. In our model, school networks closed after third day of spread, but family and neighborhood network won't be shut down. Some workplaces will start opening in a few days, and each agent will have 12 interactions per day and it is 90% likely that agents will stay within their network. Based on these criteria, if schools are closed and workplaces are open from day 21, the spread is slower during the lockdown. But as soon as workplaces open, it gets faster and the curve only flattens when all susceptible agents are infected. If workplaces open from day 28, the spread is slower during the lockdown but as soon as the workplaces are open, there is a second wave of infection and the curve only flattens out after everyone is infected. 
If workplace is open from day 35, the results are almost similar. If they open from day 42, the spread is slower and the infected curve starts flattening before every agent is infected. And if the workplace is open from day 49, the curve starts flattening even earlier and around 90 agents remain uninfected at the end. So according to this model, workplaces should reopen at least after seven weeks of this spread to control community transmission and avoid a second wave. So what happens if it's a near perfect world and there is 99% chance that agents will stay within their network? Does it change anything? We will explore that now. The top right figure is the baseline of this scenario. As we can see, the results are not much different from our previous scenario. It also suggests workplaces should reopen at least after seven weeks of the spread to avoid a second wave and stop community transmission. But our model has some limitations. This model surely slows down the spread, but eventually almost 80% of the people are getting it. The model has a very high contagion probability and low number of agents. This model only represents a very small closed society with high interaction. For example, nursing homes, retirement society, cruise ship, or prison. This model can be used for these communities as these different scenarios flatten the curve to give best possibility to treat the people in the community. If they all get infected at the same time, it will be difficult to treat them all together. These are my references and thank you for watching the video.